What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Pro 2 National Cup. It's going to be Team Russia going up against Team Romania. Game 2, Russia stomping Romania's push strat into the ground in Game 1. I'm not really sure what happened to Romania's flag. Maybe that's how much they got crushed in the last game, that their flag just disappeared. But either way, we'll see if Romania can bring this to a deciding in Game 3. I'm Mike Loris. Gonna be your only caster for today, and well, we do have a little bit of a Radiant switch back team now back. for Team Romania. We got Mass Carry back in, so you know, hopefully for them, they're a little bit more along the lines on the same wavelength. Uh, team Russia still, you know, with the exact same draft and looking pretty good, even though their lanes, man, their lanes did not go fantastically for them. They just fought so much better, and uh, you know, sometimes you just have those type of teams who Radiant get a little bit behind, and then they just stomp their lanes afterwards. I think uh, stomp the fights afterwards. I think Vega is the big one that you could uh, probably look to. You know, their lanes sometimes just don't go perfectly for them, but that's fine because they fight so damn well. And if you like are ahead as Vega, then you Dire take those fights. Like good luck. So we'll see. It, it is going to be a pretty interesting game too. We'll see if the strategies are sufficiently switched up here. Yeah, for Team Romania, they could grab a Shadow Fiend, and the bands are looking a little bit more normal this time. But all these heroes were banned out. I guess Slaughter Dazzle is the opening for Team Russia. I think if you're going to pick up a Slaughter, this is definitely the uh, assortment that I like to see Slaughter picked up with a Dazzle. Or with like a Dark Seer or something like that. Who's still in the pool? That's well, not going to be selected. These are two of the strongest openings Dyer I think that you can get. You know, Slaughter perhaps a little bit less inherently powerful than the Shadow Fiend. But I do like the Shadow Fiend Bane combo. If they're going to run like a semi dual lane mid, seems pretty solid. Yeah, Shadow Fiend Dazzle definitely uh, an option for you uh, to run also in the mid lane if you can get those Five two heroes together, that is. Remaining. Team Rush have a little bit of minus armor mixed in. I don't expect that to be the centerpiece of their draft, being on the Radiant side. Stealing Roshan is possible, but uh, you really need to go deep into the minus armor if you're going to do that quickly. But for, uh, yeah, for Team Russia, they should be feeling pretty comfortable about this matchup already. Now this time the uh, Tusk is going to be banned out again, but we also have to look towards you know other Radiant screen comfort heroes. Back. Played Bane rather solidly in the last game, so you know, who knows? Maybe he's going to switch things up. Spear Breaker on dying status, perhaps. And going aggressive, definitely a possibility as I said before. But uh, I, I would like to see a Darkseer mixed in here for really either side. Darkseer, Gyrocopter. I don't think Gyrocopter was actually touched in the last game, so that's kind of weird. Dire team back. So where is the gyro, guys? I mean, it didn't really work out for Team Romania's Team Romania's uh, game plan. The gyrocopter's call down is pretty good, but uh, if you're looking for the towers, you really want someone like a juggernaut, a little bit more explosive, a little bit more all or nothing with that Omni Slash. Yeah, you know, with of course the scaling potential down the line, but you know, for the most part, Omni Slash is a little bit more desirable than call down when you're trying to trying to get those kills and trying to get those kills and get those towers afterwards. Huskar's gonna be banned out. Gotta protect yourself against the Huskar. Like, protect yourself against the Huskar and Broodmother to some Radiant extent. I guess it's possible to see a Broodmother here, but uh, yeah, I don't really like super early Broodmother picks. Here, that can get crushed if you're in a bad situation, i.e., Axe. Night Stalker's gonna be banned out. This may remain. just be coincidentally Romania setting up for a Ember Spirit Radiant pick, but also it's just like a screen hero. Team Russia, what do they want right now? Their lanes need to be a little bit stronger. This Queen of Pain, there you go. As far as help for the Queen of Pain in the mid lane, there are not many options for them. I think we're going to run Dazzle there and then grab like a Disruptor or something like that for Team Russia. Seems pretty solid. Get a little bit more team fight on the board. Yeah, but Queen of Pain versus the Shadow Fiends, a matchup we've seen time and time again. Uh, Bane's contributions with the Shadow Fiend will give it a slight edge to the mid lane, but uh, really versus the Queen of Pain, you kind of want to have a Dazzle a little bit more so. Just counterbalancing that Shadow Strike harassment. Queen of Pain can trade right clicks with the Bane decently as well. This is also looking like a pretty decent game for Team Rush to go for that Venge that everyone's kind of uh, kind of on about. Venge, Abaddon also. I mean, those are the two big heroes that for some reason are now getting a uh, pretty large resurgence in this kind of old patch. But both those heroes looking pretty good for Team Russia. Or, I mean, not, not both of them, but either one of them. Although, you know, you could, could grab both of them if you really want to. Uh, Mostly getting the swaps going up against the Bane and Shadow Fiend. More minus armor, obviously, is never a bad thing. But uh, you could cancel that grip with, you know, the Ventral Spirit. You could also do the same with the Ebbad. And 
So if they wanted to go for like the real, real new picks, I mean, those are looking pretty good for Team Russia. Romania, though, they're going to grab the Undying one more time. Radio Was pretty good to them in the last game. There's not as much burst here for Team Russia, so locking down, killing off, and Undying before he can get several decays and soul rips off. Going to be a little more difficult. Will be a gyrocopter pick for Team Russia. So right now, I'm still liking the uh, you know Disruptor as the last pick for Team Russia. You don't really need the Static Storm badly up against this Romanian draft, but you know, it just has a really nice little one-two punch with the gyrocopter. Letting the Dazzle play a little bit more with the Slaughter. Ten seconds we got the Bane, we got the Undying for Team Romania. Looking for their uh, carry-oriented hero as well. Five seconds remaining. The Ember Spirit up against what Russia has right now isn't looking too terrible. But again, if you're going for a disruptor time. last pick, then it's pretty much the best hero you can want as a last pick up against the uh, Ember Spirit. Except for being Night Stalker and Doom, I guess. Those guys are banned out, though, so it's obviously not happening. Team Romania's lanes are looking really strong. If they get the mech up on the Shadow Fiend, they can go for some pretty early pushes. I think they really wanted to get this Gyrocopter. Because with the cooldown and a mechanism on Shadow Fiend, they can just really force those fights. Get like a 20 minute timing where you have all of those tools up. That Undying Stain just going to drive you into those towers. Bears though. For Team Romania, going to mix it up. Okay. Uh, Ursa's not that good here. <laughs> I love me some Ursa, dude. I love me some Ursa. The only problem is, is that uh, Ursa's going up against Slaughter and Queen of Pain. Two heroes that can just nope out of there with their sprint and the blink. So you're going to need some crowd control, and the crowd control for Romania is grip, and that's it. Uh, Dazzle may be torn to shreds, but even then he has Grave. And Grave, of course, versus Ursa in general is not what you want to be doing as the bear. You want to jump in, assassinate a hero, then take the fight 5v4 five five afterwards. Five seconds and if you're going to go in towards the Gyrocopter, you're going to be punished with a little bit of a damage raise. Like the Rocket Barrage and the Call Down. That does a lot of damage, first of all, but the Call Down up against the Ursa means that he will suffer from even more kiting issues than he ordinarily does. Now, if Romania had like a Viper or something like that instead of the Shadow Fiend, then the Ursa's environment would be slightly better, but even then, they need hard disables right now. They need a way to keep the Ursa in range of his enemies at all times, and those heroes aren't really going to be there. Now, the Ventral Spirit is, in fact, going to be picked up for Team Russia. There's another stun for the Ursa at bare minimum, also, you know, swapping out the Bane of Shadow Fiend out of their ultimate channels. It's all good times for the Ventral Spirit. Magic Missile into Call Down, into Rocket Barrage in lane, and that can get you some pretty free kills. I can still see the lanes from Rainia going very well, however. If you do Ursa and Dying dual offlane, can you do that and really punish the Gyrocopter? That's a brawling lane if i ever seen one. Eventual Spirit can't really do too much except for Magic Missile and Run. So maybe we're going to see Romania win these lanes really hard and just lock down Russia from the beginning. Then with a Blink Dagger, you know, get Ursa a little bit too far ahead for Team Russia to really compete with. That is definitely a possibility. Now we have an Axe? Okay. Well... You know, guys, if you're if you're going up against a Dazzle, sometimes you just gotta say no to Grave. It's like, oh, nice Grave, bro. Chop. It looks like they are gonna try to play this as aggressively as possible. At least for Team Romania, their late game kind of backup plan isn't too terrible with an Ursa and a Shadow Fiend. And Axe isn't too terrible either. You know, having a BKB piercing disable, AOE disable at that is not a joke at all. Team Russia going a little bit more cookie cutter in their... Uh, in their lineup, but for Romania, they can go for Roshan super easily. They have enough tanking power for sure. They have more than enough damage with an Ursa. It is something that Team Russia are really gonna have to keep track of. This is another angle for the uh, for the Vengeful Spirit, however. It's no Templar Assassin as far as putting a Sonic Trap in there and just forgetting about it. But being able to occasionally dip in, throw out a wave of terror, a little bit of vision here and there may just catch up the Romania side off guard. And it seems like level 1 Roche, it's not going to be happening. Although we do have a lot of health regen, mangoes everywhere. There we go, guys. It's going to be game 2, Team Russia, winning a very easy game 1. We're going to put Illidan on the Gyrocopter down towards the bottom line. Magic A is going to be on the Queen of Pain. Got King R playing the Dazzle Screen is going to be on the Venge. And that leaves Slaughter played by Yoku up towards top lane for Romania. Synergy is on the Axe. Seems like he just likes to be playing those spinny heroes. Keanu is on the Shadow Fiend. Got Illusionist playing the... Undying Mass Carry now is here and is on the Ursa. At least Ray's Van on the Bane. So again, Roshaning taking objectives 
Uh, really, Urshan is the only deck that Romania can easily take. I guess the Shadow Fiend, you could always take seconds. towers kind of easily. But it, it's not really the best. But clearing out Roshan, clearing out big Ancient Camps. These are objectives that Team Russia can actually contest pretty decently. As long as they save some form of CC for this Ursa, as long as they don't get like screwed over by Grave into Instant Decapitation, which King R should be kind of wary of. Don't grave someone if they're right next to an axe. Generally not a good idea. The battle begins. It's not that hard to avoid. Yeah. Romania, let's see how aggressive they actually can be. An axe on the top lane is going to be going up against the Slardar. And that's not a terrible lane for Yoku. We saw probably an even worse lane last time, Earthseeker versus Timbersaw, where he died two or three times. He still got a Blink Dagger super quickly, though. Like, that game was only, like, 18 minutes long, 14 minutes long, something like that. Yet he still had his Blink Dagger, like, 12 minutes in. So he's still getting his farm. And this matchup, yeah, it is going to be pretty bad. Has to watch out for that counter helix spin. But he has some sort of way to escape that. Over towards mid now. We have Wraparound, Raze Van, Illusionist both coming in. King R is going to take no damage. <laughs> never mind then, never mind. Got a full on 3v3 brawl lane over in mid. What the hell is going on? Well, thank you for the pause. That means I can look at some of these other lanes. Ursa is going to be going toe to toe with a Gyrocopter. Black Cannon leveled up <laughs> on Illidan. Not going to be keeping him super safe versus Mass Care for right now, but up against an Ursa, again, there's not really much of the Gyrocopters to fear. Unless Ursa has, like, Phase Boots and Gyrocopter has Brown Boots. That I could see going pretty poorly. Land a big Earth Shock, just start right-clicking on the Gyro. You'll be taking a lot of damage from Rocket Barrage for sure, but Ursa can make that damage trade at least worth it for him. Until that happens, however, Illidan's going to have this lane up on lockdown since Romania doesn't seem like they're interested in helping the Ursa out a lot. In fact, because they don't really have a Vengeful Spirit of their own, there's not much that they can combo up with this Ursa. So Ursa's just going to be uh, chilling by himself. And he does have to worry about a Vengeful Spirit coming in. I mean, there is no Rocket Barrage, and even if there was, it would only be level 1. But still, Mass Carry, Magic Missile, and Rocket Barrage is a lot of damage, and Ursa can... You know, kind of try and fight that if he has lifesteal, but not all the time. Screen's going to arrive. Magic Missile is going to be used. Illidan, still not level 2, but with the right clicks, can do a lot of heavy damage onto this Ursa. That's a salve out for sure. Illusions is going to arrive, gets a nice 2-man decay, but it's a small price to pay for Team Russia for such an effective damage combo onto the Ursa, forcing out that salve. Also, not being level 2, man. Like, you can get that damage done at level 1? Man, you can do so much more at level 2. King R is now going to move up towards top lane, where this Dazzle Slaughter lane is suddenly so much stronger than the Axe. And Axe wants to be in the middle of the creep wave, wants to be spinning. Yet once that happens, he's only a level 2 uh, two armored hero. So Shadow Wave is going to hurt like hell. That is something that Axe has to be very, very careful of. I mean, that one was kind of mediocre, but you know, down the line, it's going to hurt a lot more. Trust me, guys. So yeah, a, a call is going to be a very large risk for Axe. It inherently is a risk forcing enemies to attack you, but that's what he has to worry about. And if there's Amplify damage on him, then man, that is going to hurt like hell, because Axe is not a high armor hero. It feels like he should be, because he's huge and decked out in like this red armor shit, but he's actually not that big, as far as armor is concerned. The Shadow Wave is just going to obliterate him over towards mid lane, blink in, Keanu is going to have to duel up against Magic A, lands a raise, Magic A racing, not going to happen! First blood drawn by the Shadow Fiend. He will die to this poison, but Queen of Pain getting a posthumous kill, not first blood either. I feel like I saw the exact same thing happen in the summit, but uh, maybe I'm just deja vuing really hard right now. Crush, no damage, no follow up. Just right clicks, <laughs> she's spinning a, a couple times, but Yoku's getting his farm. I do feel like this is probably a lane where you get power treads. I mean, Tranquils are not bad up against the Axe, not at all, but you could really put the screws to him to get that power treads. So one for one trade over in mid. Shadow Fiend does die, lose a couple of souls. But still has damage enough to compete very well with his Queen of Pain. And Magic has to be very careful. I mean, you, you are talking about going up against Shadow Fiend with raises and almost full souls when you blink in like that. The follow-up to a Shadow Strike is very slow. It's there, but it just takes a little bit too long to actually kick into gear. One to one so far, screen. He's gonna be put into a rough position right now. Earthshock's gonna land. Decay is there. However, Magic Missile is up first. He's still very, very slow. Boots are on both those heroes. The Ursa slightly faster, but he can't quite get in range. The Vengeful Spirit will narrowly make an escape. That was a little bit too close for the Vengeful Spirit, I'm sure. But she will get away in the end. Alakali's fighting up against Synergy right now. 
He is hit with the Battle Hunger. Grave is going to save him for a couple more seconds. Raise Van, however, is going to arrive. Nightmare is there. King R is going to land a heal. Melancholy is still alive right now. He's not the crush as well. Yoku's stuck in the trees. King R does not have enough mana for another heal. They're going to have to dig their way out. Slaughter is going to dig pretty well. Call misses the crush lands with Raise Van. And now the Slaughter is going to make an arrow escape. Team Russia just uh, cutting it a little bit close on some of these heroes. But better close than dead, right? That, that should have been the death of the Slaughter. Very well played, however, by Yoku. Keeping this game tied 1-1. One one. The CS is looking pretty even for both sides. Like, you know, these four heroes in the bottom, all with pretty much nothing. And all the rest of the heroes on top, all with, you know, very similar CS up towards top lane. So you're taking a lot of tower aggro. It was a little bit too close, but the Ursa in the meantime also dropping super low. Flat Cannon's flying out, but Ursa's already fine. Of course, I chose again the wrong fight to watch. Mascari, that was going to salve up. Look to reinitiate. There is no Rocket Barrage here on the Gyrocopter, nor their phase boots. Mascari's running his ass. He's going to chow on a mango. Pop the rockets on a Mascari with the Magic Missile there as well. Right clicks will kill off the bear. And now Illidan has another Rocket Barrage. He's going to land onto two heroes. Raze Van Illusion is taking a lot of damage from this double kill for Illidan. Raze Van now going to chase down. Has a turnaround Brain Sap. He's going to use it, but that's not going to save him, I don't think. A couple more right clicks with Screen taking the tower. This Venge Spirit is pretty tanky. With seven armor, will not die to the tower, but now might die to the Earth. Uh, run screen run he's gonna die in the end unfortunately he died and uh mascari came in then he died so mascari actually got experience from that but trading your vengeful spirit away for three kills and having illidan get all those kills and having illidan survive oh this bottom lane was supposed to be a team romania going aggressive and uh we can see who's the real aggressor here it's the gyrocopter with rocket barrage going up against these uh low range slash melee heroes okay though queen of pain Going to try to raise Keanu again? No, he got sniped by the raises. No scoped all day. Yeah, a Queen of Pain dying is unfortunate for sure for Team Russia. But the fact that their top lane and bottom lane are going so well kind of mitigates that cost. Ooh, Yoku's actually going to go for a bottle. That's a pretty steep investment for a slaughter, actually. I'm not sure how much I like that. Now granted, who am I to... Oh, Illidan. Nightmare's gonna wear off. Long range ray is not gonna connect. Should be fine. Who am I to, to question Melancholy right now? With that being said, the uh, the bottle is like kind of replaceable by Tranquil's. Oh, screen. Gonna drop very low, but call down's gonna land to absolutely everyone. Magic A is here. Has no Sonic Wave. They'll pick off the Shadow from regardless now. Disengage away from the Tombstone. Everyone's gonna live. They are actually gonna reinitiate onto the Tombstone. Grab a little bit of extra free cash there for Magic A. Central Spirit did drop very low, but even if she dies there, <laughs> for a Shadow Fiend, that's fine for Team Rush. That's what they want. Unfortunately, this Queen of Pain's build is jank as hell. It does not have Sonic Wave. 2-2-2, two, 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 level 6, kind of weird. The Sonic Wave could have wrecked Team Romania there, like, so badly. It would have been real ugly. But yeah, the bottle is generally replaceable, I feel, by, uh, by Tranquils if you really want to get that. You don't really need that much mana on a Slaughter, I feel. And this is, again, a pretty steep investment. Like, this is a third of his way towards his Blink Dagger that he spent towards his bottle. Maybe he feels like he can play this game slow enough so that he can, you know, kind of delay the Blink Dagger. And I guess given the pace of the game, I don't think he's necessarily wrong, but when you get a fast Blink Dagger on Slaughter, you can just lock down the entire game. He's still getting a lot of free time at the top lane, so... Oh, he actually can go to Tranquils and Bottle? Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure how much I like that. Blink forward, Sonic Wave, Scream, onto Keanu. Raises are gonna follow up, and Queen of Pain will again fall, but she'll get the kill beforehand. That one is worth it for the Quap. Since she got, you know, 4 or 2 gold and you know, only gave away 100 something to the Shadow Fiend. The gold trade in of itself is worth it, but also the experience you get. It's all good. Call down onto Mass Carry. This is not all good. This Ursa does not have his ultimate. He's fast, though. Got the phase. And the bear is gonna slip through the trees. Because, of course, bears know their way around the woods. Duh. Uh, if it's lagging, guys, it's... I I'm not dropping any frames, so... I don't know, it's fine for me. Melancholy is up towards top lane, crush, and land synergy. He's not gonna get battle-hungered off, and he's gonna just walk it off, walk away. He'll be fine. Yeah, this is a lot of defensive power from the Slaughter. No offense power whatsoever. What the hell is going on here? Screen going deep. Not gonna find anything. Illidan... He's going to grab the tower in the meantime. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. 
But it's top lane and Synergy trying to go deep for the Slaughter at the same time. Dunk him down. Yoku too greedy. TP out from Synergy. Looks like that'll succeed. Ooh, yes. Just a little bit too close to an axe, man. <laughs> I understand you have sprint. You got brown boots. You're moving decently, decently fast. But uh, talk about an axe against Battle Hunger. It's a little bit bold of Yoku to do that. He has bought out almost all of the items he could ever want, ever. So it's not terrible, but still. Kind of weird to see that uh, kind of clear mistake there from the Slaughter. Such an avoidable death. Guys, my stream is working just fine. If you have a problem, it's on your end. So, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Synergy. Oh, magic Missile is there. Unfortunately, no crush. Magic is going to die again, but Axe is going to get chased down in the meantime. He has backup incoming. It's the Bane. Or, not, it's the Shadow Fiend, actually. Calls him to land to Melancholy, which means no crush. He's drawing him into the raise range. He's going to land screen. Heal Magic Missile with the call down there as well. Keanu's going to take a beating here. He has no defensive tools, and he will fall in the end. Raise onto Illidan. That's not quite going to be enough. They will come around from the side, kill off the Vengeful Spirit. Black Cannon will kill the rest of the zombies. Illidan, though, going to get chased down. Melancholy going to land a nice two man. Stun on. Two of the heroes chasing Illidan, but Nascar is going to cut them off. Earthshock is there, and Illidan has no man. He's going to rock barrage a little bit, but he'll lose his head. Melancholy still chasing after Ray's Van. Brain Sap is there. The Crush will get the kill on the Bane. King in the meantime, well, he's going to not get decapitated. That was actually a miscalculation from Synergy. Melancholy is going to find now Illusion is stuck in the corner. Sonic Wave, though, as Queen of Pain arrives, gets an instant double kill. And Slardar is going to kill off the Undying in the end. Now chasing down for Massacre. There is enough mana for a Crush here on Slardar. Plus, they have Magic A with a double damage rune. That in and of itself should be good enough. Mascara going to turn the fight, but he'll get crushed down. Synergy going to arrive now. Up against one too many heroes. Amplified damage is there. He bought back for this one. Swap back from screen. Canceling the call with the Magic Missile. Right clicks with the double damage. So much damage. Going to kill off the Axe as well. Top lane is now going to fall. That's a full five-man wipe for all said and done for Team Russia. And once again, Yoku somehow survives that. Now it's a 1400 gold after the bottle and tranquils. Get the tower. Now he's at 1600 gold. Magic Aid. Though he did die over in the mid lane before that happened. They killed off the axe. That was a dieback for this hero, which means no blink dagger in the foreseeable future. Now they're looking at Keanu. They do not have swap. They do not have a blink dagger. They're going to walk into a raise. However, the crush can land to Keanu. Tombstone's deployed, as well as a soul rip. Landing onto all the neutrals, but still they're going to chase down for the Shadow Fiend. Raise Van's going to come around. Melancholy's going to get brain sap. Still is in range for a crush, I feel. He's going to get it. Get the kill as well. They're going to lose screen for it. But it's a small cost to pay as long as they don't lose Melancholy, which they may just do. No, the grave is there. Where's the dunk? It's not there. Melancholy's eye on the run with the bottle. This slaughter is going to survive. King R may not, however, because he's completely swarmed with heroes. Heal, not going to do enough. He's going to get clawed to death. Gyrocopter, however, is coming in. They have vision on pretty much everyone. Illidan, I believe, was spotted on the arrival. With the brain sap onto the slaughter. He's just trying to bait heroes in. Soul Rip not quite going to do it. As Illusionist taking a lot of damage from the creeps. Say it. No, not like this Illusionist. Not like that. Magic A is going to come right in. He has vision. He has blink scream. Teleport out from Illusionist. It is going to be him escaping. Magic A. He's going to be fine as well as Ray's Van does not have enough mana to cast anything. We have another hero rotating in at his screen. Mm, there's no one really to go for. Team Rush are really putting the screws to Romania right now. And you can see how aggressive Illidan is shoving everyone out. Calling down behind the tier 2 tower just to clear out the creep wave. Now the blink dagger is up on the slaughter. Very quickly at that. With a score of 4-1-0, oh, I mean, your gold is going to be coming up very easily. Swap back onto Synergy. Weave is there for screen and against Synergy. There is no follow-up to this, however, so screen. Maybe making that call a little too early. But no, with the blink. Crush. They'll land it onto the axe. He's going to get healed up a little bit. Call as well, but that's not going to save him versus the rockets. Now they kill off the tombstone super quickly. And they have another Blink Crush right about now. I see Illusionist getting crushed in his near future. Oh, oh no Blink Crush. Just walk in. Rocket Barrage. Okay, no stuns at all. That's going to cost them the Vengeful Spirit. They will, however, grab the Undying for it. Melancholy still has that Blink Dagger usage. Oh, no, the Courier. What was the Courier holding? Morbid Mask for Illidan. That was his full Helmet Dominate. That actually is pretty big. He'll get it eventually, though, so it's not a terribly huge deal since they are so far ahead. They have so much momentum with this Blink Dagger on Slaughter. And now he's going to sneak behind the tier 2s. Looking for a couple of heroes right now. Does he really want to test this? He's going to amp up the courier. Got him. Oh, he's going in for the courier. He got it. Oh, courier for courier. No call from Synergy in time. Oh, boy. That'll show him. That will show him. Stupid tower. Kill my courier, will you? Keanu's over in mid. Illidan call down. 
no setup. It is going to be thrown. Two missiles to land on four heroes. Mass carry can't get in in time. Going for a blink dagger, but just doesn't have enough gold for it. The rest of Team Rush in the meantime are circling in. Melancholy especially. He's smoked up and completely hidden to the dire side right now. A blink crush may just start up a fight really poorly since the blink crush should be followed up with the sonic wave. Level 2 now. There's no call down for another 30 seconds. The magic missile will do it as well. Blink Crush will miss. They swap back. Massive Carry. So much minus armor. He has his ultimate up. Sonic Wave completely botches. However, Massive Carry takes no damage from that. They're going to focus down the Tombstone. Screen in the meantime, going to get a Grave on himself. That'll kill off the Undying and the Ursa both. Keanu does wind up a Requiem decently damaged. But Magic in the meantime will blink out from everyone else. They have another Blink Crush soon, I feel. No, he's going to have his Blink Dire canceled, but it doesn't matter. They son of Keanu. They'll kill out the Shadow Fiend. Now into Ray's Van, they're going to go. He's going to fall as well. Triple kill for Illidan. Blink Scream onto Synergy with the right click damage from another double damage. And they'll crush him down, getting a 5 for nil trade for Team Russia. No one's actually really that damaged. Magic A, maybe, but <laughs> yeah, with the heals there, this should be a very free tower. And Team Romania barely scraping together a fight. We see the downside of Ursa, man. He has no ability whatsoever to keep up to his targets. Getting kited to hell and back was pretty much unable to do any damage there. Now, Axe and Ursa, I mean, it's a pretty nice one-two combo. You just keep him in place, demolish them with the Ursa. That is assuming, of course, a uh, call lands, which is so difficult since there's no Blink Dagger on the Axe. Illusionist Scene is spotted out by Eventual Spirit. They have a swap back right into the clutches of King Ark. Can these two supports kill off the Undying? They will. Eventual Spirit damage, yo. It's not to be trifled with. They'll clear off the tombstone for another 150 for Yoku, as if the slaughter even needed it. Now it's tower time. This tier 2 tower is not going to last that long. Another 2,500 gold on Illidan. We have Melancholy on the hunt for Vision, really, more so than anything. But they can kill off this tower very easily, slide into the Roche pit, and just continue onwards. Or they can go up high ground? Oh, no, guys, go get Roche. Roche on is much better. They have Orkin on the Queen of Pain. They'll have... Life still in the Jower Copter. No, okay, they they want in. I'm not really sure why they put a Sentry there, since there's no invisibility for Team Romania. Sentry now for Romania. I mean, this is a little bit. This makes a little more sense. Blink Crush, however, into Illusionist. Minus armor is can be cast, and with so much damage from Illidan. Oh my God, I'm dying. I thought he was gonna live, but no. Rocket Barrage is no joke. Finally, Blink Dagger is up on the Ursa, but it might just be a little bit too late. TP is cancelled, and they're going to go in deep. Missile onto Ray's Van. Crush follow-up is going to be a little bit late, however. Melancholy trying to time that perfectly. They're going to pull off the Nightmare. Now screen, however, a little bit trouble because Mass Carry is going to jump right in towards that Ventral Spirit. He's going to survive for a little while longer. Sonic Wave through onto everybody with the Blink Scream. They're going to clean house. Ray's Van is going to try to find some solace in the Fountain. He will get called down upon, though. It's going to be dodged. Go in, boys. Time to go in. Screen's going to... No, oh, go in, kind of. Oh no, Yoku wants in. He's gonna kill off the Bane. Now grabs his Ghost Scepter. He's gonna get graved as well. He's gonna survive. Now the Queen of Pain is gonna do the exact same thing. They're literally fountain farming Team Romania with Ghost Scepters. Magic Gate, though, is gonna get corrupted and he's gonna get punished. They haven't even taken down the, the Raxes yet. Maybe it's a little bit too early for Team Rush to be doing that. But uh, Ghost Scepters versus Team Romania, not too bad. Blink Crush now onto Razan. Rocket Barrage plus right clicks. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. So, Romania, uh, yeah. <laughs> Good luck, good luck guys, good luck. <laughs> Not looking too good for them. They're constantly bleeding out heroes. Blink Crush now onto Keanu. Illidan is so tanky. They land a call onto King R. They may be able to kill off this Dazzle. Yes, they will be able to, but do they have enough gas for anyone else? They have another dunk. Illidan will also fall. Yoku, he's gonna have to book it. Ghost Scepter, Blink Dagger. Yeah, he's fine, I think. No, he gets Soul Ripped. He has backup coming in the form of Ventral Spirit. Does he really want to turn around here? Seems like he kind of wants to. Oh, Courier. No, Screen's only going to want to go in by himself. He does have his Ghost Scepter of his own. Uh, he's going to take a couple hits from Mass Carry. Swap out. Screen still has that Ghost Scepter. He's going to dodge the call. Run, Screen, I believe. Oh, he's racing for Synergy with the Crush. They will get the kill on Synergy. Yoku's still in the area up against three heroes. There's a Nightmare, but he can't quite get in range. Melancholy Solar, not going to do it either. Where's the backup? Here it comes. It's the form of Queen of Pain. She's... Not with Blink, though. They have Blink on the Slaughter. Blink crushing the Mask. Karaoku's just running this game. 7, 1, and 10. Blink forward into the base. Magic is going to dagger at Ray's Van. Will not, mit, will not connect. Oh, Melancholy. 23 HP. Yoku, calm the hell down, please. This is this is too much. Just go back to the base and chill. You have 2,700 gold, right? Go buy yourself something nice. Go buy... Go get 600 more gold and buy an Ethereal Blade. And then shotgun slaughter people. Please, oh please, make it happen. King R is going to arrive with souls in his jar. Earned, if you prefer. 
So Slaughter is going to juice up to near full without having to go back to the base. I want to get off Team Russia's wild ride. I want to get off of... What the fuck was that? Now Screen's going to get punished because Magic Ant is such a weird play. What the hell was that, man? That literally was not in the right direction. Call down is going to land onto absolutely everyone. Here comes Illidan, SNY, Flag Cannon turned on. Mechanism will negate a lot of this damage, plus Melancholy botches the blink in. However, Illidan's still surviving right now. They pick off the Ursa. Melancholy getting put to sleep. Magic Ant stuck in the high ground. And they do get the call and the dunk on the Dazzle. Synergy going to try to teleport out. Melancholy woken up with the raise. In the meantime, Magic A racing for a raise van. He's dropping very low. Magic A will fall to the bane. Blink forward, though, from Yoku. going to grab that kill. Here comes it and back into the fight. He will die to the Death Requiem. That's going to be a 4 for 4 exchange. But somehow, Yoku still survives. Axe is back. The buyback also in the Queen Pain. Blink crush on a Synergy. Oh my god, that bash did so much damage. Slaughter doesn't even have any damage items. He's just, you know, working him down. Now, here comes Magic A. He's going to blink in. Dunk at Melancholy. Not in time. Full 5-man wipe here for Team Russia. It does cost them a buyback in the Queen of Pain. But can this Slaughter get any more baller? Like, I'm not sure if that's actually physically possible for a Slaughter to be more baller. Unless, Ethereal Blade. Bro, I know in your heart that's what you want. He's just waiting for his Dazzle to come back with more heals, honestly. They're going to drop a Tombstone, which will do nothing but give Magic A more gold. Mmm, delicious gold. TP coming in will be cancelled, actually. I want to get off of Team Russia's wild ride. Slaughter, he's going to get back up to full HP in no time flat. Even with a zero hero sonic wave, like, in the wrong direction. Doesn't matter. Oh, Slaughter. Save Slaughter, guys. You need to keep him alive. That's the primary mission. Screw winning the game. Keeping Yoku alive is more important. They're fighting over wards. More TP heroes are coming in. Oh, blink. Call onto two. Gonna drag them a little bit far in. Screen though, gonna stump Kiana before the raises can come out. Mechanism now deployed as Illidan's going to arrive to the fight. Has Flat Cannon turned on. Blink Crush onto Kiano. Amplify damage to Synergy as well. Masquerade's gonna jump right into the middle of things. However, he's trying to go for the Queen of Pain. Not gonna happen. Illidan, he's gonna get graved up. Swapped out as well. Stun to Masquerade. Illidan's gonna start for a little while longer with the Crush. He will survive in its entirety. And Melancholy still is ready to go. Blink forward. Magic Gay has another Sonic Wave in five seconds. However, Rax is now starting to fall. Range first, then melee. Romania, they lose their two damage dealers. Shadowfiend's still technically alive, but he just can't really do anything here. Blink Crush, especially with this happening. Keanu in a lot of trouble right now. He's gonna get Soul Rip. Tombstone will be focused down first. Raze Van, however, gonna get caught in the AoE. Will fall. At the same time, this Shadowfiend will die. Forced to buy out. Please, Melancholy, buy an item. He'll amplify Keanu. Now it's time for more fountain diving. That's not even a fountain dive. That's just a feeding frenzy over the Shadowfiend. 40 to 20 in a 21 minute game. You know how in Mortal Kombat, when you win, there's like fatalities and like babalities and like all those things? Usually they're supposed to be the I'm styling on you type of finisher. But I don't know if there's like even a Mortal Kombat thing that can describe what happened right now. Because I think like Romania's spines, their collective spines got ripped out of their bodies. Is there a humiliation thing in uh, Mortal Kombat hum humil humility? Oh no, that's a no, that's a that's a sp spoof. But either way, guys, this is brutal. Team Elements, man, looking pretty good. Magic A, not really the hero who's on the team, the player who's on the team, but still, uh, everyone else, man. <laughs> Firing off on all cylinders for Team Elements, so looking forward to seeing them in the future. This is going to mark the end of the day, guys. I'm Mike Loris. It has been a brutal best of three with just like an hour and 20 minutes of, yeah, of time passing for this entire best of three. If we had a schedule, we'd be keeping to it, but we don't. It's not for today. I hope you enjoyed the casting, guys. If you did, be sure to follow the channel because this tournament is finally starting to wind down. Also, follow me on Twitter and Facebook, Mike Loris on Twitter, Mike Loris Gaming on Facebook, and I will see all of you guys in another cast. Thanks for watching, guys. GG.